All right, we are at Key Training Thrift in Homosassa. I decided to skip the one in Lacanto. I just didn't have a great experience. Maybe in a month or so I will try it again, but for right now I am not feeling it. So we are gonna go into Key Training Thrift in Homosassa. We found a lot last week and see what we can find. OMG, I might have to get this for myself. Oh, but it's $25, oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. If I don't get it, it will be gone. Oh, okay, we're gonna go shop and we're gonna think about this. That is so cute. Let's go see what we see again. And I say this most times, if there is a sale, make sure you look cause you want to know what you can get cheaper than what the ticketed price is. And most thrift stores that I go to typically have a sale on something. So we are going to grab us a buggy cause we typically need it. And this store does do $4 on holiday clothes. I want you guys to keep a lookout, especially right now, for ugly Christmas sweaters. <laughs> ugly Christmas sweaters sell very, very well. And now is the time to pick them up. And ugly is a good keyword to put in your title as well. The buggy we picked was raggedy. So we need to get us a buggy that's actually working a little bit better. All right. Now let's go find some stuff. And I am skipping the Halloween because it's too close to pick it up and be able to ship it and people to get it. This little plate was really pretty, but it was mass produced. So I did decide to leave it behind. It was only 80 cents. So, so it was a pretty good price, but it wasn't anything overly extraordinary. And this bowl looked really nice from afar, but once I picked it up, I could tell that it was just a little bit more cheaply made once you have handled high quality glass you tend to get a feel for it now this would sell especially with christmas coming up with the holly on it but they wanted 12.50 way way too much it probably i guess would retail 15 to 20 and then those little mice were super cute too but they wanted 450 for those now keep an eye out for clocks like this i just sold a mantle clock last week that was Seth Miller for a hundred dollars in a day. This one is Elgin Clock Westminster and you'll see here coming up some of the results. So you got to be really careful that you comp exactly what you're looking at because when you first put this in I'm seeing 150 and then 170 but the actual model that was in front of me was not any of those so i'm going to go to the sold and i want to look for my exact model and unfortunately there were none so i decided to leave that there and there were some for sale for 30 dollars. now we are in the clothes racks and remember at this thrift store unless it is boutique all clothing is a dollar so i don't look at clothing at most thrift stores but when it's a dollar I will look at the clothing. I probably should change that. So these shirts, you can tell by the tag on the inside, they were really worn that polo was. Otherwise I would have considered getting those. Those were top golf, but I did not. So I am starting to try and learn a little more about clothing since I keep looking at the clothing. I'm going to try and study some brands. So hopefully I can Bring you guys some knowledge about that if you're interested in learning about different clothes i am mainly all about the profit and buying low and a dollar is very low so here this fish print shirt really caught my eye this one is cafe luna i don't particularly look at the brands on like the fishing shirts and the hawaiian shirts i look more at the print and this one is a great print. I think those are brim or um, like crappies. 
So for a dollar, that one should sell for 15 to $20. And we are just, again, I'm looking at these patterns and what's sticking out to me. This one is a nice one as well. The tropical like palm leaves, those sell very well. And they do sell year round, guys. They, of course, sell better in the summer, but they will sell year round because people are going on vacation. They're going places where it's warm. Now, I like these patterns, but that tag and brand just looked extremely cheap to me on the green one. This one, however, is really brightly colored, and I really like that one. And that one's Bugle Boy. I might could have picked that one up. And then I think one of them was Puritan, which I believe is a Walmart brand. I, I'm not 100% positive. There were a couple Bugle Boy shirts there. I did not check the comps. I might check them if they are there next time. So now we are just perusing through some of... This is Boutique. So mostly they do outer clothes and their jackets. And what I typically look for are brand names that I know. But I also will look for sport items or Disney, like Walt Disney World store items sell very well some sporting items can sell extremely high as well like a biking jacket or something like that but i unfortunately was not seeing any of that today and their their boutique is four dollars so it's you know quite a bit higher this jow jow leather jacket i didn't look that up that might have been an okay pickup it was a white leather jacket and that Spider-Man hoodie is probably only about $10. So at a $4 buy cost, that was a little too high. If that had been a dollar, it would have been a great pickup. We're going to check out the shoes. These are muck books. I think these boots, muck boots. I think those are the original. They were priced at five. Those only comp at about 20 free shipping. But some muck books, muck boots. I don't know why I can't say that. Some muck boots sell upwards of $50 to $60. So definitely try and find the style you have if you see them. I love that Atlanta Braves hat and all their hats are a dollar too, but that one had some pretty significant staining on the inner rim of the hat. So I decided to leave it. And if you guys see shoes, if you see anything that I am passing over, please let me know. I am not an expert in all fields. I'm really not an expert in any field. I know a little bit about a lot. So I tend to look up a lot of stuff and that is how I increase my knowledge. And it's also a good way for you to increase your knowledge. When you're out looking, if something looks nice, pick it up, look it up on eBay, see what it sells for. You really never know until you check it and you are looking at the comps. And I believe those were Eddie and Anger clogs and I did not comp those either. Now, here are the purses. They still have this bagalini because this bagalini is priced too high. But maybe they will have purses 50% off next time I am there and we can get us another bagalini. If you do not know, bagalini bags sell very well. That one was just a generic brand. And then those are more of their boutique. Now, we are going to go through the glass. I am not looking a ton at glass because of the fact that everything I pick up is sold in thrift boxes to you. I have to take into account shipping, the cost of it, the time of it, and whether you'll be able to make a profit at double my cost. I, I do look though. I do look. These owl plates looked really, really cool. They were only a dollar. They were black owl. And I am going to look those up. If I see something I think might be worth money, I will pick it up. So Room Creative was the brand. So some of these sell for like $12 to $15, but there were none sold. So I shouldn't say they sell. They were listed at that. And these roses looked really nice, but that was just a generic uh, China brand. Some China brands do well, but the majority of them do not. And then definitely always check out your bags, not purses, but bags. I, at the same thrift store, found a Young Living Essentials backpack for $4 that sold for $50 in less than a day. 
So always look through your backpacks for anything that catches your eye. And you know, I got to browse through the linen because I love linen. If you're not already looking at linen, definitely check it out. I sold a tablecloth this week for a hundred dollars that I paid a dollar for. So make sure you're looking at the linen vintage cross stitch lace. Anything that looks really unique is good. And these birds were really cute, but they were really heavy. <laughs> they were $3. And this I think was almost like a ceramic mold that somebody had probably painted. They painted it very well, but it wasn't a unique piece, I guess I could say. And then here is this John Deere tractor trivet, or actually it looks like a trivet, but it was a key holder. It's kind of confusing. But that one wasn't very nicely made. I love these butterflies. I think this was probably something mass produced. But I really love that dot painting on that little butterfly wall hanging. And now here they have like curling irons. And like typical bathroom stuff. There's some hair curlers. But I didn't see anything in there that caught my eye. And then here are more vintage linens. Check your towels. Some beach towels, if they are vintage, can sell for 25 to 30. If it's like a band or a TV show, they can sell for even more. And then over here, they have their electronics. They really don't have very many electronics, which is kind of surprising to me. I'm not really sure why. And I saw this stained glass. It's a wine bottle in a bucket. And this looked really interesting to me. I think they had it priced at five or six dollars. So I am going to use Google Lens to take a photo of this and see if I can find something that is similar to it. If you don't already know, Google Lens is a free app. You can search by photo. And I saw a few here and they were selling for like 15 bucks. So at six dollars. That was not a good buy. All right, time to go into the Christmas room. Christmas is coming. Now the time to pick it up. Now is the time to list it if you have it. People are going to start buying Christmas stuff soon if they have not already. And Christmas sells year round. So don't think Christmas won't sell. I list Christmas in January and it still will sell. I'm looking at stockings. I liked these because there were two. I always like multi-quantity, but these were honestly felt really cheaply made. So I did not want to get those, even though they, all of the stockings here are only a dollar. So I definitely look through each time I come. I typically want something really unique or vintage, such as this really cute gingerbread and reindeer. These are really cute stockings again they are a dollar each and i think they will sell for 15 to 20 dollars and i'm just looking through the pile and then i saw this cute puppy dog reindeer sweater if you do not know puppy dog clothes sell and they sell very very well and i don't think most thrift stores have a place for them this puppy dog one was in with the stockings so Keep an eye out for dog clothes, and if you can get them cheap, I would pick them up. There were some other stockings here that looked okay, but I didn't feel like they would sell super well. That sweater one was nice, but it actually had a couple of spots on it. And at a lot of thrift stores like this one, you do have to dig sometimes to find the better stuff. I think that was a puppy dog outfit but it didn't have a tag so I tend to stay away from the dog outfits that don't have tags because it's really hard to know what size they are and if you're digging like crazy like this make sure you pick up your mess and put it back on the top of the pile which is what I am doing here all right let us move on And here I'm looking for any like figurines that might look like they are higher end. Or I like looking for crystal items as well. 
if you happen to find like Swarovski crystal ornaments or figurines, they can be extremely valuable. The Swarovski snowflake ornaments sell up to and over $500 sometimes. They're just little crystal snowflake ornaments, so keep your eye out for those. This was a brass deer. It looked like it was newer though, and it didn't look like it was extremely well made, so I did decide to put that little guy back. If they are vintage and very well made, I pick up brass deer. And this little sleigh was cute, but it was a little generic as well, so we did decide to leave that there. Now, this was a glass Christmas tree. I was looking to see if it perhaps would have been crystal, which could have been worth some money. And stamp sets I stay away from unless I can buy a bunch in bulk for very, very cheap. That one looked like it was glass, but I picked it up and it was really plastic. So we put that one back as well. And now we're just going to peek over at the towels like I do every time. Look at the plush and see. I already combed through those last week and it didn't look like there were any new ones in. So I didn't dig too deep there. Which is the same with this section. I kind of went through both of these sections quite a bit. This little flamingo bowl was super cute. But he had a $6 price tag and I think he was the same price at Bell's Outlet on the tag that you saw. And always keep your eye out for vintage ornaments. If they are glass and have glitter, they can be extremely valuable, even if it's one or two of them. The mercury glass ornaments can also be valuable. This was poinsettias in a can. I had never seen it. I had to check that out. And look through bags of ornaments when you see them for those vintage glass and glitter ornaments as well. Now we are at some more boutique. That was the motocross outfit I showed you guys last week. It's still there. And like I said, I'm trying to learn more clothing brands because I can get them so cheap. If there are 20, 30, 40, 50 dollar pieces of clothes, I'm really trying to learn some more brands. So I'm looking through. I've made some good money on dresses that I've bought in clothing lots. So I'm going to search. This one was Key Lime Pie. I had never heard of it. You can see they're listed anywhere from 12 to 26, but when I went to sold, there were actually none. So I decided to leave that one there. And you can feel quality too if you just go along once you have picked up enough stuff. A lot of times the more quality items will stand out to you. And I think it's worth learning some of the new brands because if you're already there, you might as well kind of look at it and see what you think. And then over here, this t-shirt is a Lee Bryce concert t-shirt. And for a dollar, I think this should sell for about $15. So I think that's a pretty good flip. It's not vintage or anything, but there's always people looking for concert t-shirts. I might spend one day I need to like go through and look at all the tags and kind of learn some of these brands go on a clothing learning mission and then here on this end cap this really really stood out to me this is a really really nice leather skirt it was not boutique so it was only a dollar it is Jacqueline Smith and I'm not super familiar with the name so I am going to go ahead and look that up on my phone so i put jacqueline smith leather skirt and you can see here they're selling from 17 to 40 and we're going to look at sold and the sell through rate was pretty good and they're selling for 22 plus dollars and so i definitely picked that one up for a dollar and we're just peeking and seeing always look look at those brands i'm looking at the belts again same thing it's almost like turning the glass over guys i'm looking for brands to see if i recognize the name and that could be a name that i've seen sell well or a name that i've seen another reseller show in a video 
and this scarf caught my eye and it is actually a brand new with tags Vera Bradley so for a dollar we definitely are going to take that as well this is another category I'm starting to learn about some nightgowns sell for hundreds of dollars guys like old vintage nightgowns and they had just put these out so I decided I would take a look at them and see this white and black one felt so soft and it felt really high quality so I decided to look that name up just by the way it felt. So it was Linnea Donatella. I'm going to look at the sold comps and see what comes up. And it looks like they sell for an average of about $20. So again, a dollar into 20 or in your case, the thrift box, it will be $2 into 20 is still 10 times your money. And all of these were just put out. So I kind of had first pick of these. So this one was Brielle, or Ambrielle, sorry. And I'm just looking for Ambrielle top, and I'm starting to see some really low prices on the list. I'm checking the sold. Looks like her bras sell okay, but the shirts only go for like 3 to $10 on average. So that one I did decide to skip. And at this point, I'm kind of just going more by feeling but i want to look at the tags to see if it's a name that i might recognize that one was secret treasures and these are a little more modern you'll see here in a second i do find an older one but modern is okay this one felt really nice as well and this one was Victoria's Secret, which, as you know, is a well-known brand. So for a dollar, I think this one should sell for about $20. And then here in the back, these are vintage for sure, like really pretty vintage nightgowns. Unfortunately, when I pulled it out, it had stains on it. And this one did not. Well, it had a tag, but I couldn't read it. So I did decide to put that one back. It also had a big stain in the front. This one was just like a really cheap cotton. This one was absolutely gorgeous. And it was actually a good brand that sells pretty well. Barbizon. But unfortunately, you're going to see here, it had this really dark stain there that I didn't think would come out. So we did put that one back as well. All right, so we did not get much there. It was all clothing and Christmas, but it was all a dollar. I only spent $14. So the one skirt should sell for like 25 to 30 and pay for the whole box. And that nightgown, I think, is a 25 to $30 nightgown. So some really, really great stuff. So congrats to whoever got this box. All right, so here is the thrift box. This, I'm glad I saw this black leather skirt. This is Jacqueline Smith and actually comps out at, I believe, close to $30, if not more. I got these really cool two vintage stockings. And I only paid a dollar for each of these. And then I also got this nightgown that I looked up the brand, Linnea Donatella. I believe this should sell for $25 plus. This nightgown is Victoria's Secret. That should go for 25 to 30 if not more. And then I got this Moose Puppy Dog sweater. And there is a new, with tags, Vera Bradley scarf. A Lee Bryce concert t-shirt. And there are three shirts. So the best part, I only paid $15 for all of this. So all of this will be yours for $30. Shipping will be $15. The shipping is high on these boxes, guys, because it's heavy. Um, some of them have cost me a little more to ship, but just this skirt should pay for the box, and then you sell any one other item, and the rest is all going to be profit. Good luck, guys.